welcome back to my channel Liz and Lou today we're going to be reviewing Louie's new harness which is right behind us on the bed so if you're new to my channel I make videos with my Australian cattle dog Louie if you like dogs please subscribe to my channel so Louie hasn't had a harness since he was a puppy and the reason for that is because I honestly found it easier to walk him with a collar um, I have videos on walking my dog with a collar if you'd like to see them I'll put some cards up here um, it's always just been easier for us and it helps with like no pulling I remember I had when I first got Lou I had a harness on him and a retractable leash and he would just like pull me everywhere so I switched the leash and I switched to using a collar um, so I'm not against harnesses I've just been using collars and it's always worked for me the reason I got this mainly was to use it in the car with Louis with a seatbelt leash which is going to be my next video the leash is coming in the mail so I got this first and yeah that's why because I was bringing Louis in the car without a harness it without anything and if I got into an accident he would probably go through the windshield so I'm trying to be a better dog mom and I got him a harness and I got him a seatbelt leash stay tuned for that video so anyway the harness it's called ice fang tactical dog harness we got it off of Amazon and it's pretty heavy-duty we got the size large for Lou I really like the buckles it comes with four metal buckles that are supposedly a thousand pound tested um, so I guess they did in a thousand pound proof load test for these buckles and yeah they pass so they're pretty heavy duty um, I just like that so I know that they're not gonna break I do like how heavy duty it is and it is pretty heavy it's not too heavy but I just like the fact that it just feels good quality I got the I think it's like forest green color or something uh, but it's more of like an army green they have sizes extra small to extra extra large and I got Lou a large just make sure to measure your dog they have instructions to measure your dog um, I I measured his girth I measured his neck and just his back part and he ended up fitting a large but I would just advise to um, size up a little bit if your dog is between sizes just so that it fits them and they'll have a little bit more room to grow you don't want to buy a harness and then they grow out of it you have to buy another one okay so this is the chest part and I really like this front clip they call it a no pull clip and I'm so excited to use it I'm gonna take it outside with you guys we're gonna put it on Lou um, and I'm gonna try the front clip and see how he is because it also on the back has this big clip and a handle which is nice to grab the dog you could literally just like lift them off if you're hiking and they they fell or something I don't know like I don't really have a scenario for that but you know what I mean like that's helpful but yeah I'm super excited about the front clip it also has velcro it has velcro right here so you can put a patch for their name um, and then it has velcro all on the back like a big strip of velcro well it's hook and loop not velcro um, and then velcro on here on each side that you can put patches and my idea is to buy a patch that says do not pet because as you guys know Louis does not like strangers he especially doesn't like strangers who reach out their hands to pet him he gets really agitated and he gets scared when there's hands reaching to pet him um, so that's really great for strangers for being in public people see that and they're like okay I won't ask to pet that dog I'll leave that dog alone and then that's how Louis gets used to people like he gets very agitated if you try and force a relationship with him if you just hang out and stick around him leave him alone let him do his thing he'll slowly warm up to you I'm super excited to get patches and just put them on he'll look so cute with them so another thing there's like little wait hold on see these little strips here you can like hook something like a bag or tote so they could carry gear or a water bottle or a water bowl anything that you'd like them to carry maybe some of their treats if you're hiking and there's two of those so there's one here one here and then on the other side on the other side they have them as well 
So just some final notes before we head outside and try out this harness on Lou. So it's good for no pulling because it has that front clip, but we will see once we go check it out. You can also have your dog carry gear on the harness. You can put patches on it to alert strangers of how your dog is and how to approach your dog. And you can put the dog's name on, so it's basically like a pet ID patch. You can use it in the car with a seatbelt. And you can also use it while running. So when I'm running with Lou, I usually hook it up to his collar and he kind of pulls and I don't want it to hurt his neck. So I was thinking that would be better for running. So yeah, you ready? Check this out. You ready to check out your harness? So since Louie hasn't had a harness on in quite a while, basically his whole life, um, we're gonna go slow with this. Come on, <laughs> Louie, up here, come on. Sit, sit, good boy, stay. And I have treats to encourage him. So we're just gonna put it over him. It's kind of heavy. Anything that like restricts him or something, like he's wearing something, he goes rigid, which is really funny. Stay, 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 put one foot through it, I'm good, stay, just give me some treats as I hook it up, did I hook it up right? Oh, nope I didn't. Wrong one. There we go. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Good boys! <laughs> come here, up, 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 show them. Come on, up, up, up. Sit. Louie, come here. Sit. Good boy. And look at your new harness. Oh, come here. Oh. <laughs> It's so cute. I just want to show you guys up close. Wait, let me, um, here we go. There's the ice vein thing, but you just press the, or you pull them like that. But like, oh my God, you feel it. You guys hear the metal? Like it just is really good quality. I feel. <laughs> All right. We're going to take that baby for a stroll outside, huh? What do you think? Come here. <laughs> Oh, see, he just like weirdly walks around. He's like, ugh. And he'll like, he just rubbed his back against the wall. Like, oh, he's gonna rub it off. <laughs> Basically, that's what he does <laughs> when he's got, like, if I put a sweater on him or something. <laughs> Are you just gonna lay there forever? He just so, he looks so tactical, like a little army dog. Are you ready to go out? Okay, so. We are gonna go outside and I'm gonna hook the leash to his front clip. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, he's like, wait, what the hell? You're moving me from the front. <laughs> All right, let's go. Sit. So these flaps right here, I definitely have to cut these and burn them down like they're flapping. Yeah, they're kind of in the way. And they tell you to do that on the directions. Yeah, those straps are up by his neck too that we need to cut and then burn down. Um, and then he should be good. Nothing should be in his way because right now it's like hanging down. Hanging down. And even up by his neck like this we can cut too. So a couple of things, this kind of bangs up and I have to tighten the front over here, um, or right here, I have to tighten I think, um, because when he's walking, it's like banging, it's kind of annoying for him. And I do have another leash coming in the mail, so maybe I'll use that one instead when I use the harness, because that just looks really annoying for him, he's like banging his paw against the little handle. Honestly, this is the first time we've done it, so like I can't judge it. I'd have to, you know, train him. Um, but so far, the front clip, the no pull, like he kind of still is pulling. He's just kind of getting like confused where we're going. Like he's just tugging and then it's pulling the harness and um, I don't know, but I have to do it more to see actually how he does with it train him properly with it and get him used to the harness and this new way of walking 
because this is completely different from what we usually do like I usually have I have like this little trick that I do I have his collar up here so it keeps his head up and I use my special leash that I have showed you guys plenty of times it has the handle that keeps bumping him um, and that I use like if I'm walking by somebody it just helps like to keep a hold of him um, but this seems to work and it might be a little bit awkward for him at first because he's not really used to using a harness but I think with time he'll get used to it and it'll probably be pretty good so we're back inside and I'm just about to take this off um, he's had probably like 25 minutes with it on now and that's enough we can take it off we're inside um, I just wanted to give him a little this is his first time um, we tried it on last night but yeah this is first time outside hooked to a leash and everything and I think it went pretty well I really do like this harness if you guys want to check it out I will leave the link below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really supports our channel please subscribe for more videos thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one bye Oh, he's stiff. Why are you stiff? All right, come on. Take it off. Oh, it's off. It's off. You're free. You're free. Oh, he's gonna like shake and go crazy or something. Look at him. Smile on his face. Shake it off. Woohoo! Look. <laughs>